It is also a requirement for the students to develop a software solution to be eligible to graduate. Mathematics and Computer Science Head of Department Cyril Sosorua says the symposium allows the students to apply all their mathematical and computing science knowledge and skills into practice before going out into the workforce. So we tell students to go out, go out to the, the environment, try to identify a problem, a, a problem in, in wherever they, they live or they work or they see a problem where they could use the knowledge of uh, mathematics and computing to analyze it, understand it better, and solve it. So most of the programs that you, you have, uh, the projects that you have seen today, uh, they were all software, software solutions to certain uh, problems. Sasoruwa says the students come up with very interesting and workable software solutions for various sectors. However, currently, there is no proper pathway for students to further develop their software solutions. Currently, in Papua New Guinea, we don't have a skills development framework to identify those. So those who are really good in software development, you have a pathway to develop your skills. And some of our businesses and firms uh, in our country does not meet those uh, international standards so they could provide that, um, a pathway uh, for <coughs> um, our students who possess those skills to uh, continue developing and enhancing the, uh, their skills. The head of department also says with the national government's plan to shift into the digital space and the rise in new technology such as artificial intelligence, his department is now looking forward to updating its courses to meet the demands and rising trends in the industry. Natasha Ovoy, National MTV News.